Hello all you gorgeous YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. I am going to show you today my makeup bag and this is my Louis Vuitton Monogram GM cosmetic pouch and I'm going to show you what I carry in it on a daily basis but I'm also going to show you how much more stuff you can put into it so you can get an idea of how much this bag actually holds. The stuff that I carry around on a daily basis changes depending on what outfit I'm wearing or um, what color lipstick or the season depending on my foundation so that stuff does change but I do have generally everything in here all the time so it just might change colors so the first thing that I will show you are my makeup brushes and I have found that with the makeup brushes if I put them in on the side that the zipper unzips at my makeup brushes won't get stuck. But if I put them with the makeup brush side on the side where the zipper starts to open, then the makeup brushes will get stuck. I'm gonna try to show you that right now. So when you put your makeup brushes in the bag, you want the um, actual brush with the bristles to end up on the side of the bag that opens up over here. So let me show you. That way you can close it very easily. Now. If you put the makeup brush this way, quite often what tends to happen is they shift around and they end up getting stuck. I'm gonna show you and we'll see if it happens. So I put my brush in there like that and then when I go to open it, almost every single time it gets stuck. So you can see that the makeup brush is now stuck. So then what you have to do is hold the makeup brush down, unzip the zipper and then zip it back open. But if you do it on this side, where the zipper ends up after you open the bag, then you'll never have a problem with it getting stuck. So that is just a little tip that I have learned in using this bag so much. I've had it for about four and a half years and I use it on a daily basis. I absolutely love it. It fits inside of it everything that I need and it fits comfortably. Now, the more stuff that you put in there, the zipper will start getting wavy as the bag starts to bulk up but um, the stuff that I keep in there is perfect size and it allows you to zip up the bag really easily without any bulkiness at all. So, like I was saying, the makeup brushes that I carry in my bag are the eyeshadow brush by MAC, a blush brush by MAC, I carry a Kabuku brush for foundation, and then there's one other brush in here. And yes, quite often I do put my makeup brushes in the bottom of my bag, but just depending on how I put the stuff in there because I don't put it in there any particular way. I just kind of throw it in there. It fits comfortably so it all fits. And then I just dig around for what I need. So sometimes they end up on the bottom, but usually they're on the top. And this is um, a brush that I use for eyeshadow and then sometimes smudging my eyeliner. So now without the brushes, this is what you have. You'll have your My Max Studio Tech Foundation with the powder um, by Clinique. And then I have two mascaras in here. So this bag does hold a lot. This is my Dior Show mascara, and then my MAC False Lashes mascara, and then I have a MAC eyeshadow palette, and my e.l.f. eyebrow kit, and then whatever bronzer or blush that I'm using, and then this is just a gold eyeshadow by MAC. I love it. And then I have some lipsticks in here. Now generally, what lipstick I'm wearing, I'll keep the lip liner in my bag. This is called Talk To Me, and it's a really pretty pink. And it is by Smashbox. And then this is a MAC color called Saint Germain. It's a really pretty pink too. And then I have inside of the bag, you have a little lipstick pouch. And that was the lipstick I wore last night. So here's the matching lip liner. And the lip liner is by Smashbox. 
And then the lipstick that I wore is called Mega Matte. It's very similar to the color Miss Mia Wallace. I love that color. And that's generally the stuff that I keep in the makeup bag on a regular basis. And there's also my Scandalous Perfume by Victoria's Secret. And um, I usually keep this either in my makeup bag or my purse. It's very cute. I know you guys seen that in my five favorites. And then here is the makeup bag. It has two pockets, one on each side. And then inside this pocket, are extra eyebrow brushes and then it has of course the lipstick pouch and it's very easy to clean I just wipe the inside out with a wet cloth and then wipe the outside out with a wet cloth as well and then just dry it but this is what it looks like with nothing in it and that's generally how I like the zipper to look just really nice and clean so the more stuff you put in it, the bulkier it gets, and then the zipper tends to get wavy. So let's fill this thing up just to show you how much we can actually fit. Now, I just put the bigger stuff in here, and then I just throw all the rest in. But we'll try to strategically place some of this. That way we can fit a bunch more stuff. Because once you start adding a ton of stuff, then you want to start watching where you put stuff so that you can save room. Now that's the stuff that I put every day in my makeup bag and as you can see it will close relatively easy and then you just squish around to make it nice. There's something over here that could probably move so then it just closes really nice. And then I have a lot of room left. So let's see how much we can fit in this thing before it does not zip. So I just have some more MAC lipstick. So we'll put three more MAC lipsticks in there. And that should have no problem zipping. And then I have another mascara. We'll put that in there. And then you can, you can see it's bulking up really bad over here, so let's shift some of that over. I just really want to show you how much it'll fit, so let's move this one over here, and I'm just putting to save some room, and see now that zips up a lot nicer, and then so that still looks nice and that's a lot of makeup in there and we'll try to add some more. So we'll add a lip gloss and two more lipsticks and then this one and we'll try to zip it up. This is getting so full. Now I know if you really strategically place this stuff, it will fit nice. So that is, that is full and I would not really put any more in there, but if you need to, you still can. And there's still a bunch of like soft spots where you can fill it in. So we're going to try the last thing that I brought over here is your EOS lip gloss or chapstick. We'll put that in there and it will still zip. So I wouldn't keep it like that, but if you need to, then you know that it will fit in. There are still a little bit of areas that have a lot of space, so you can probably shift it around and make it look really nice. But yeah, that is a lot of makeup to fit in here and it still zips. It unzips really smoothly, but I'm just going to dump this out to show you. That is a huge amount of makeup. So that is my Louis Vuitton GM Monogram Cosmetic Pouch. And as you can see, it still looks beautiful. 
when it is empty and putting that much makeup in it will not hurt it at all it just makes it look kind of silly when you zip it up and it's all wavy so if you guys have any questions or comments or requests please leave them in the comment section thank you so much for watching my video hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe and until my next video i say bye